Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you'd lie to me. And so, for today's video, we are going to round up the best and also the worst of COSRX, in my opinion. And I say that because, obviously, skincare is very personal to everyone, and we all have our likes and our dislikes in products. And COSRX is one of those fantastic, amazing, incredible Korean skincare brands you, you have to try if you're into K, if you're into K-beauty. However, with saying that, there are a few products from COSRX that just haven't agreed with my skin, or haven't shown any results. So I'll go on to those products later in the video, but first I want to round up my absolute most favourite products from COSRX. There's actually four, so I really have narrowed it down, but these products are just absolutely incredible and have transformed my skin. And the first product comes to absolute no surprise because I love it so much, and it's the COSRX Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. And this is one of my all-time favourite products for many, many reasons. But one reason that stands out to me is it lasts such a long time. And I know you might be thinking, well, what about all the amazing benefits? But if you have such a fantastic product and it lasts you a very, very long time, even when you're using it so much, it just is like, oh. I love it. And going on to the ingredients, of course it has 96% snail secretion filtrate in there, which is just a fantastic ingredient, a very well-known like K-beauty ingredient, just for some like incredible hydration benefits on the skin, some reparative benefits as well, and it will just keep your skin in check. And then we have betaine in here, which is a really fantastic hydration ingredient because it is a sugar beet de derived amino acid. So it's really helping to control and kind of like hold on to the water content within the different layers of the skin. And you also have arginine in here, which is another amino acid, again, for that extra hydration support. You also have allantoin in here, so it's gonna be really soothing for the skin. And you also have sodium hyaluronate as well. So that's just gonna increase the hydration levels. <laughs> and before I forget, I did actually purchase this from Style of Honor, and it was the most cheapest place I did see this product. Um, the consistency is absolutely lovely. It's very like slimy and like stringy looking but not heavy on the skin like you'd expect it to be, like it actually absorbs into the skin and just gives such a lovely dewy glow. And then moving on, we actually have a recent favorite product of mine that I've been incorporating into my routine. And um, it's the Centella Water Alcohol Free Toner. This is just incredible because it's a no force, no gimmicky, like spritz misty toner um, that just does the job in terms of really providing hydration for the skin and being that perfect like base for your other skincare products in your routine. So of course it does have Centella Asiatic Leaf Water Extract in there and if you've watched my last video on Centella Asiatica, it doesn't just have its anti-inflammatory properties but it also provides antioxidants, cell regeneration properties and also hydration as well. So yeah, Centella Asiatica is such a fabulous ingredient. And you also have allantoin and panphenol in here, which are just really great ingredients for stressed out skin, just really need some soothing and calming properties in there. You also have sodium hyaluronate and butylene glycol, glycol, <laughs> glycol for um, extra hydration support. Yeah, it's a really, really simple ingredients list, a simple product, but it does the job and that is what you want. And the only downside to this product is that it goes goes down so, so quickly because I pretty much probably spray like 10 spritz on my face. Um, so yeah, I would definitely purchase this in a bigger size if that was available. And then up next we have the Cosrx Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. So this is a favorite of mine because it is that lightweight gel texture like that I absolutely love for my combination skin. It just ticks all the boxes for my skin type and especially my skin concerns. So, you know, acne prone skin, it's oily, it's congested. And yeah, it just it just is that absolute dream. And it took me by surprise because I thought this would be a really like heavy silicone based product that was just kind of feel very slippery, very sort of like that thick layer on the skin that doesn't kind of like go away throughout the day but I was really really surprised how well it absorbed into the skin but it just left a really lightweight 
like film on the skin <clears throat> that kind of didn't feel like a film i'm not making any sense here but yeah it, so it absorbs into the skin but it kind of just leaves that dewy base on the skin as well that locks the hydration in and just like the power essence it does have the concentration of snail secretion filtrate on the product so it is 92 percent which is just again an incredible concentration for your hydration and your reparative properties is that even a word <laughs> again you have betaine arginine panthenol allantoin and sodium hyaluronate that all feature in this product so very very similar to the power essence to the alcohol free toner and you just yeah it just ingredients that just do the job and that's what we love and then last but not least is the Cosorex triple hyaluronic moisture ampoule and if I'm right in believing this is from their hydrium line is that right hydrium uh, I'm not too sure but you can easily distinguish it from from the different kind of style of packaging. So this ampoule is actually really, really good. And as the name suggests, it does have a triple kind of like forms of hyaluronic acid. So you've got your sodium hyaluronate in there, hyaluronic acid, and also hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid just to kind of get into the different layers of the skin and have those really sort of hydrating and plumping benefits. We also have glycerin in here, butylene glycol and panthenol as well. So it's going to be extra hydration, but also soothing for the skin. And really interestingly, which I absolutely loved about this product is that it has polyhydroxy acids. So it has gluconoloctone and also lactobionic acid. So your polyhydroxy acids, you know, are in that um, hydroxy acid family, very gentle at exfoliating the skin, but most commonly polyhydroxy acids are used to hydrate the skin as well. So for instance, lactic acid, which is an alpha hydroxy acid, that is, you know, a really fantastic chemical exfoliant because not only does it exfoliate the dead skin cells on the surface of the skin, but it actually hydrates the skin as well. It's safe to use amongst other chemical exfoliants in your routine team because it is so incredibly gentle and I definitely recommend this product if you wanted a hyaluronic acid serum but just did that little bit extra more and it definitely shows because it has fantastic ingredients and lovely lovely texture that will really fit well into any routine and now let's move on to my worst products from Cosrx we've only got three here but yeah and so first up we have the travel size or like the miniature of the AHA BHA vitamin C daily toner. So by the name you would think that is a pretty good toner like that does the job for absolutely everyone that is like a a, a three in one four in one ten in one kind of thing. However this product I just felt like didn't do anything for me. And yet, when you're looking at the ingredients, you think this is going to be a perfect toner. It has glycolic acid, willow bark extract, it has ascorbyl glucoside, it has um, betaine salicylate, it has kiwi fruit extract in there, apple fruit extract, I think. So yeah, really kind of like an overall fantastic formulation. Um, but yeah, this product just didn't do anything for me. I just felt like maybe I was relying on it far too much. It just it just didn't rejuvenate my skin. It just didn't give it a healthy glow or anything like that. And yeah, I was just very disappointed with it, to be honest with you. And then second to last, we have this product here. So it's the Cosrx Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream. And at first, I really, really did want to love this. I was thinking, oh, peptides, snail secretion filtrate in there, that's going to be really hydrating and also, you know, target my fine lines on around my eye area. Just an absolute perfect all-round product, I was thinking anyway. But unfortunately, it's a cream kind of like heavy viscosity product. And I say that with a heavy heart because unfortunately, when I put creams around my eyes, as I've discovered from using this product, I get milia. And if I zoom the camera up, oh my god, you're going to get a really close-up of my ugly mug. And so as you can see, I've got a big lump there, one ever so slightly there, and also one there as well. And is that product that I haven't rubbed in? I don't know. <laughs> and so yeah, I just don't think eye cream products work for me whatsoever. And I think it is more of a genetic problem that because my brother also suffers from with milia as well. So um, I'm definitely looking at treating this. I'm putting um, like retinol on it, and I'm also putting um, 
chemical exfoliant around it very gently around it as well and um, so I will keep you updated in terms of that if it doesn't go away then I will most likely see a dermatologist to safely remove it because milia is something you do not want to pick out because it will scar and you won't really get that far with it and then last but not least from the least favorite category is the aloe soothing sun cream SPF 50 plus BA plus plus plus. So I purchased this uh, probably around a year and a half ago now, really having high expectations from this product. I used to see it all over Instagram. It was getting recommended me to me a lot. Um, and I was using it consistently throughout the day for up to about three or four days, if I'm right in thinking. Um, and then woke up with a minefield of volcanoes. And I knew it was kind of coming because I just felt ever so slightly congested. It just, it just didn't sit well on my skin basically and I was really, really disappointed from this because I, again, I had high expectations from this product. I thought it was going to be really soothing, really lightweight and very sort of breathable on my skin. However, it broke me out like a bitch. And so yeah, those are all of the best and the worst products in my opinion from Cosrx. These products just stand out in terms of being incredible, but also incredibly bad for my skin as well. Um, so I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do comment below your favorite and your least favorite products from Cosrx and any of these that you absolutely love that have been featured today. So I will see you very, very soon for a brand new video. See you later. Bye bye.